Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. All of our guests today brought to you by the Whistler Golf Club. Again, news uh, just in uh, moments ago, Mikhail Sergachev fined $5,000 by the National Hockey League for punching Connor Garland in the head. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, yeah. Last night in Tampa Bay, Canucks in Florida on Saturday. All right, uh, we promoted this from CAA NHL player agent Pat Brisson joins us now. He represents Quinn Hughes, Elias Pettersson, and Tyler Myers. Uh, Happy New Year, Pat. Thanks for doing this. How are you, sir? Happy New Year. How are you doing, guys? V very well, very well. A lot being made in Vancouver today, Pat, as you know, about your client, Quinn Hughes, and the comment uh, he made after the game yesterday talking about Tanner Pearson's hand issues and uh, telling Patrick Johnson of the Vancouver province that wasn't handled right. What's your reaction uh, to that comment and the reaction afterwards? Well, my immediate reaction, Rick, is, um, you know, you have a player here that cares a lot. It shows me about the character that Quinn is, you know, that Quinn has. He, he cares about his teammate. I mean, you, uh, you know, let's put it this way. Uh, and I watched the press conference after. I watch, I'm, I'm watching Quinn's, uh, you know, face literally like, you know, after a loss. Uh, I played, what, 28 minutes last night. He's all sweaty and all that. He's been bombarded with questions. He's, he's upset. He hates losing. And we're asking him a question about his, a teammate that he dearly he cares about. And immediately he reacts by saying, hey, you know, this thing is mishandled. Like he wasn't pointing fingers necessarily at any doctors or anyone in particular. It was an immediate reaction to, you know, again, showing that he – I wish more players cared more about their teammates, like, like mm -hmm. the way Quinn, Quinn uh, you know, came out now. Obviously, if he was sitting in his living room, he had more time to, 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 to reflect, to relax. Uh, it was a different setting, a different environment. He would have come out differently. But we have to understand the passion that he has. And quite honestly, I mean, he feels terrible for, for a type of person. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why, he, you know, that's how I see it. I spoke to him as well, and he's frustrated. No, no, no different than... And when we care about people, we, we sometimes say things in protect, you know, in, in, in the react, you know, in a rec reactive way. And um, that's how I see it. But also I praise him for, you know, uh, coming out in a certain mm -hmm. way. I, the circumstances, the timing, perhaps after a game is different, but it shows how much he cares. Uh, and just so you know, Pat, this is uh, Don talking to you. Rick sets up the interviews, then he just checks out for, for, the, for the rest of the show. <laughs> oh, oh. No, no, it's not true, Pat. Yeah. Not true. Yeah. Just, just so no. you know. Hey, Pat, is there an issue around the National Hockey League? And I don't know how much you can say, but is there an issue right now with the way the Canucks handle the health of their players? No. No, absolutely not. I mean, teams, uh, the Canucks are doing the best they can. Uh, no one's perfect. I've dealt personally with infections myself. I've dealt with second, third opinions. That, I mean, it, they're doing their best. I mean, no one's perfect. And there's so many injuries, so many situations that occurs on a day-to-day -day basis. People don't even know. We get, we're scratching the surface. When we're talking about the, the amount of injuries or, or um, that, don't, don't, not, that don't make the ticker, so to speak. In other words, every day there's something going on with an ankle, a hip, a shoulder. And these, these people are doing the best they can. They're not perfect. And that's why we work as a team uh, with with our players and with them to seek sometimes second and third opinions and, and hopefully come out with the best solutions. So hey. uh, it's beautiful fingers after the fact, but I do believe that they're doing the best they can. Uh, Pat, one more quick one on Quinn. Uh, when you watched the video last night, this kid cares. He hates to lose. Does he not, Pat? He sure does. And I, I, I when I saw it, I, I, I wasn't surprised. And then I looked at the, 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 the minutes he played, played 28 minutes, which, and he had a, a you know, pretty good game. He had a goal and two assists. Losing again, he hates losing like most players do. And uh, you could see in his face. And then when I read the quotes, I put two and two together immediately. Pat, you got another client here in Vancouver named Elish Pedersen. Uh, there's, uh, uh, there's a report out of Minnesota that says he doesn't want to re-sign in Vancouver today. I mean, Pat, what can you tell us about Elias? Does he love Vancouver? Does he want to re-sign? 
He loves Vancouver. He's having a good year. He's doing the best he can. He hates losing himself, too, so I wouldn't be asking this, these questions after a loss last night. Yeah. Uh, regarding the contracts and all that, I mean, we're, we, um, you know, uh, as of July 1st, uh, 2023, we have an opportunity to discuss, and we'll explore that time. I mean, uh, during the season, I read a lot of different things that are not even halfway accurate. I mean, there's so many speculations out there, so many uh, opinions, and uh, – Quite honestly, uh, Biddy's focusing on getting better. He's got better. He's got stronger. He um, he's having a good year, and he also every time we talk after a win, it's great. But after a loss, he's not happy. So um, that's all I can say. Okay. All right, and, and Pat, before we let you go, we mentioned the people that you have on the Canucks: uh, Quinn Hughes, Elias Pettersson, Tyler Myers, uh, as well. I know they make, relatively speaking, uh, a lot of money versus the average Joe uh, out there. I, 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 is there any way any of your clients can be happy right now with the way things are going in Vancouver? Well, again, you you keep coming back about Vancouver, and I keep coming back about the environment. When you're not winning games and you have higher expectations, it's it's hard. And and well, due respect to. Uh, you know, Canadian market. You know, uh, it's it's a great market, and then there's uh, you know more more. Uh, I wouldn't say more of a, I wouldn't say more of an appetite to winning, but but you know, it, it, there's a lot more uh, pressure if things don't go well. So, and uh, it goes to not only all three players we represent in Vancouver, but I'm sure the other players are feeling the same way at the moment. Pat, short notice. Uh, we we thank you so much for doing this. Uh, all, all the best. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Pat, Pat Brisson, thank you, Pat.